are trying to prove that dg is minus sdt plus vdp plus chemical potential change in the number of molecules, right? Okay, well, we know from the very beginning that Gibbs free energy is just U minus TS plus PV. And just apply partial derivatives on this. So we can prove that. So DG would equal DU minus product rule on TS. So that's minus TDS minus SDT. Oh, what is it now? Plus product rule on PV, so that's PDV plus VDP. Agreed? Because Gibbs free energy is the total energy in the system, added to it uh, how much space you have to leave open so you can create the system taken away from it the amount of heat as a result of the increase in energy in other words uh, this is the total free energy you get out of it because uh, some of that energy is supplied by the entropy itself okay so now we're trying to get to this that means we have to re relieve du out, out of the equation so now we know what du is du 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 is right here t delta s tds minus pdv this is the thermodynamic identity pdv plus mu dm just plug this here and you'll get the DG. So just take this, plug it here. So you get DG is equal to TDS minus PDV plus mu DM minus TDS minus SDT plus PDV uh, plus VDP. And you see that sometimes go away. With respect to you, Uh, no, it's not just you. That's why you have all these terms, these additional terms in the equation. And so look, these guys go away. And we have PDV goes away. And we have left. Equaling. Uh, minus SDT uh, plus VDP plus mu DM. Now, let's get the uh, partial derivatives that follow this. Uh, 
So if you fix P and M, then, uh, so here, fixing, fixing, if you fix P and M, pressure and the number of molecules, then dp will be zero and dn will be zero. So you will get dg equals minus sdt, which means s will just equal minus dg over dt at constant p and n. That's how this first one came, first part of the reason came out. Now, if you fix temperature and molecules, moles, whatever, then dt is zero and dn is zero and you get dg, so this, this here was one, right? So dt is zero, dn is zero and you get dg equals vdp, which means v will equal dg over dp at constant t and m. Oops. Uh, v equals uh, dg over dp at constant t and m. Okay, that's the second. You see how you work with these? And now, if you fix t and p, so dt is zero and dp is zero here, dt is zero, dp is zero, you get dg, is equal to mu dm. And so now your chemical potential, was, which becomes very important later, is just dg over dm at constant t and p. That's the third. You see how you manipulate these partial derivatives? And this proves all these identities we were trying to prove. Okay. You know how I got there, yeah? Was about uh, gives free energy. Did you guys do that? 